So it's currently Monday afternoon, and this all just happened within like last 10 minutes. So, good way to start off the week. Not really. I'm ready for the summer. So sitting here at my desk getting work done, and that's what I see. That's not what I want to see. What I do want to see is this. I'd much rather have this view of the beach than that. Beach, snow. Beach, snow. I go with this beach. So follow me on Instagram if you are not already. Right there. Check it out. Give me reasons to doubt. Try to keep me down. But I'll put the flame out. You can't get to me. Okay, so it's Tuesday, the next day, last day in January. I cannot believe it at all. This is really dark. Um, that's a little better. You can see me. So I just got done coaching the little kids. Um, I got some errands to do. Today's actually a busy day. Like I said, it's Tuesday. Uh, if you can see that bin back there is all soccer gear that I'm donating. I have to have a, can you see it? That basketball hoop back there. I have to have that in my car for eight weeks. So... My car is literally packed. There's enough room for me. And that's about it. So right now it is almost 11 o'clock. I had breakfast this morning. I brought some rice cakes with me. The caramel kind. Definitely my favorite. So I'm gonna have a few of these to go to the gym. I will record that for you. Uh, I am feeling under the weather, unfortunately. I just feel tired, cold, kind of congested a little bit. So bear with me if I sound congested in this video. But I'm determined to still work out. I went and worked out last night, even though I felt pretty crappy. Got 45 minutes in, which wasn't bad. Today's plan is to redo legs, because I did legs yesterday, but didn't feel like I got enough in. So legs again and arms. So I'm going to do that now. Record legs for you. Probably not arms. Depends on how packed it is. Drop off that soccer gear. Eat a little bit. I am increasing my calories a little bit. Um, the reason they were so low in the beginning was because I wanted to get consistent track for a couple weeks, uh, track my weight for a little bit, and then decide what I need to do to make my progress. And I definitely think that I can push my calories higher, mainly carbs. I can definitely increase carbs. Uh, 220, 240 was pretty low. So increasing carbs, and I feel a lot better. So doing that is why I got my rice cakes to go. But other than that, everything is pretty much the same. So I'll see you guys in the workout. Box full of stuff going up. Floor 10. What's up, guys? So, this has been forever since I've done a voiceover. Like, I honestly don't remember the last time I did one. So, I'm doing this right now, banging this out on Thursday night. I meant to do this earlier, but obviously, being sick and everything, editing and recording was kind of like my last thing on my list. But what you see me doing is, um, I believe it was four sets of seven with 115. Form was off. And every time after a set, I went back and looked and, re and reviewed the clips. I knew my form was off, especially this first set here. It doesn't look like I'm getting much depth, so that's why I set the camera up here. I do get a little bit more depth minus that first rep there, but much better. And this is when I was really starting to feel sick, um, just kind of under the weather, cold, a little bit achy, but I was like, I need to do it. I need to get in there. So I made the best of what I could. Form did feel off, just, you know, like I said, not getting enough depth. And here you see me starting to take a little bit longer in between each rep, just because I was tired and really was focusing on getting the right depth. So now we'll go into the third set right here. Again, it doesn't look like I'm getting enough depth, but when you're doing reps, you know, higher than five, depth isn't always your first priority. So in this case, just getting through each set and each rep, that was more of my priority. And the depth will come. Um, for anyone who doesn't know, my actual squat PR uh, is 170 or 175. I don't remember exactly. And that was late summer, early fall, I believe, when I got that. I'll have to look back at the footage. But I haven't touched that weight in a while. I think the closest I've been to that would be... Um, a couple weeks ago I did 135 or 140 and that was feeling heavy. I just have to get more consistent and I understand that. Um, 
and said, I need to do it more than just once a week. I need to get back into doing it twice a week, every single week. Because I noticed that when I am doing it twice a week, my form is there. When I do it every once in a while, my form is literally different every single time. So consistency is key, and I understand that. But the great thing about lifting is you have your whole entire life to do it. So that's what I look forward to. It's not a race to the finish line because there is no finish line. It's kind of just whatever I want. So here, what you see me doing is I took off the two tens on each side um, and just finished with three sets of five. So obviously my depth was a lot better because I can control the weight a little bit more. I didn't feel it when I was actually squatting, but looking back at the clips, obviously I'm doing a lot of bouncing, but I didn't even feel that when I was doing it. But that's one th great thing about whether or not you record for YouTube videos or whatever, you should just still record yourself when you're doing like compound movement like this just so you can evaluate yourself and see what your form is like and it helps you look back and correct things so I highly recommend that for everyone I hope you guys are enjoying this video I am slowly but surely starting to feel somewhat better we'll see uh, like I said it is Thursday night and I got the weekend to rest up but being around little kids 24 7 isn't always helpful but enjoy the rest of the video Happy Thursday, everyone. As you can tell, still sick. Actually, the most sick I have felt all week, which I knew was going to happen. I'm around kids every day. It's that time of year. Um, I got home at like 8.30 last night <clears throat> from my game because it was in Annapolis, so it's like a 45-minute drive. Exhausted. You can hear my voice. So... Looks like most of my day is going to be spent here, but I'll be able to get some work done. I don't know if I'm going to go to the gym yet. I haven't eaten anything yet. It's uh, 8.30, I think. I've been up since 7, just laying here, but I hate being sick, but it happens, and I'm just going to move on with that. So I'll catch you guys in the next clip when hopefully I have a voice. So I wasn't planning on the rest of this video being me in bed, but it looks like that might be the case. First meal of the day is oats with some peanut butter and protein. Normally I have eggs with this, but I really don't have an appetite. Sorry it's so dark. But I'm going to try to eat this, not counting any macros today, just as long as I eat. I've got a gallon of water over on my desk and I didn't drink that today. Normally I would have coffee right now, but I'm going to have some tea. Hopefully that helps with my throat. Oh, so I'm going to do that, get some work done on the computer while I can, and just rest and relax. So right now we've got going on, egg substitute, lots of spinach, lots of greens. I'm trying to eat as much as I can even though I can't taste anything. So just have that. It's about 200 grams of egg substitute and just a handful of spinach. So now I'm going to be a two-year-old and have these chicken nuggets. They're actually not too bad from Purdue. So for about five chicken nuggets. 10 fat, 10 carbs, and 12 grams of protein just for five of them. So not too bad. I'm going to have that while I've got rice going here. And then I'll have my normal bowl of rice and chicken. And that's that. 12.30. So now the rice is done there. So I'll have that for the rest of the week. I've got chicken, some spinach in there, and then underneath is the cooked rice right there. So another healthy meal, just trying to get food in. Can't taste anything, but making it work. If I see one more post about Catch Me Outside and that girl, like, society has now made her famous over something so stupid. Like, she's the talk of social media. All the memes, all the videos, all the dances. Now she's famous for doing something very stupid. And, and that's just what's crazy about social media, is you can take someone who doesn't deserve that attention and hand it right to him. Like that's the last thing that girl needs because she sees everyone responding and every like her name and her picture and everything out there and she's like this is cool. So she's continuing to do it. 
She's going back on Dr. Phil. She's got other viral videos. And in no way, in shape or form, is that helping her at all. And the only reason I bring that up is because I've been in bed all day, so I've seen all the stuff. I've been on social media more today, so I've seen everything. I found out she's going back on Dr. Phil, I'm pretty sure. And on a funny note, I'm outside. <laughs> but in my car, finally, because I'm headed to practice. It's only an hour and 15 minutes of practice, so I'm actually looking forward to it because I want to get up and move around a little bit. A little bit. I've been up in bed all day, so it kind of feels good. It feels good to have fresh air. I thought that person was walking into my house for a second. I was like, you don't live there. Anyway, uh, I think I've been in bed way too long. You can hear it in my nose, hopefully. You guys can't tell too much, but yeah. So this is kind of turning into a full day of eating when sick, but I'll make it kind of a vlog. This includes all the other days, which you guys already know because you've already seen that. So I'm going to stop talking and get to practice, but enough with making, I don't want to say stupid people, but dumb things popular. Let's focus on the good in the world. Sound good? Good. You said the same thing I told ya My eyes are clear, there's no secret I wanna know, was it serious? I need a clear, my best friend Is it easy to show with the weight of the world on my shoulders? I know I told ya It's the best light I know it's not a game that I am playing My love Trying to hold my feeling I don't know what's right I'll find the best way I think that I might I know you made it in the nick of time I'm calling on you So I just got home from practice Hair is looking lovely outside of my house now I can really go for like a smoothie or frozen yogurt but unfortunately we don't have anything like that near me but that does sound very very good right now this light is about to go out so I'm gonna make this quick up oh, there we go but just gonna keep it simple go do my usual veggies rice tuna maybe oatmeal to finish off the night but wish it was a smoothie cause that's what I'm craving how am I feeling probably like a 7 out of 10 right now but hanging in there Rest again tonight, and uh, then they've got the weekend. But making the best of what I can with this cold. So I've got my usual bowl here broccoli, cheese, tuna, and rice. Still working on my water here from the day. I'm gonna work on editing this video right now, and it is 7 11, so I've got some time to relax, get this stuff done. Uh, depending on how hungry I am, I'm not even really hungry right now, which is weird. Uh, I might have something else. I definitely need more protein, but. I'm sick, so I'm not too worried about exactly what I eat. I just want to make sure I'm eating enough, which I definitely have throughout the day. And obviously I'm not tracking anything, but trying to stick to what I usually eat. But it's big things this year. <sighs> so, watching, uh, why is everything so red? I promise there's not a filter. It just looks really red for some reason. Hang on. All right, so I don't think the redness is gonna go away. <coughs> but as you guys just saw, I'm watching Nick Bear's latest video. I love watching the Bear Brothers. I think their gym is awesome. That is on my list of things to do for 2017 is to get down there, uh, to get to Round Rock and to see their gym, check it out. I have no idea when I want to do that. Um, hey, now the light is going back to normal. I don't know why. But I always love watching their videos. So if you don't know what I'm talking about, check them out. Nick Bear and Preston Bear. Bear Performance Gym. And um, there are supplements and everything, so I'm excited for that. But anyway, I'm going to wrap up the video here. I'm pretty tired. And just need to rest and relax. Get this video done so I can have it up for you guys tomorrow morning. Um, if you have any questions, you know, comment down below. love getting to know you guys and talking to everyone. Thank you to everyone who has been here since day one. I really do appreciate that. So if you go ahead and hit that like button. Also, please, please, please check out um, my second Instagram page, at Locker Room, L-O-C-H-E-R-O-O-M. I really would appreciate that. 
And please, if you bought a book, an ebook from me, please comment down below. Let me know your thoughts so far. If you got a free sample, also let me know. And if you haven't bought a book yet and you don't know what I'm talking about, please go check that out. It's guaranteed to change your life. If you do what the book says and you put those words into action, like there's no denying that you will be better off from day one to day 90 you there will be a difference I promise you so check that out and love to hear your feedback it really would mean a lot and with that being said I am going to go to so like comment share subscribe and as always have a great day